Welcome to day one of self-isolation. So what do you do when you have 14 days on your hands that you weren't really expecting? Well, I'm going to look at all the things that I have not had time to enjoy and I've got so many passions. I'm a really lucky man. My main passion in life is wine. I write weekly in event magazine. I film my videos for Mail Plus with my buddy Tom Parker Bowles for Chew the Fat and also for Ollie's Trolley. It's a thrill. Um, but I've got two weeks and there may well be some wine coming up in these videos, but I'm going to be thinking today about one of my favourite things in the world, which is the artist Titian. And I love him. I've been looking at his uh, Bacchus and Ariadne in the National Gallery. I've visited it pretty much every month since I was 20 and every single month I see something a little bit new, a new detail, a nuance, something I hadn't noticed. I usually meet people, have a chin wag, and it's a very inspiring, I find it a really enriching experience. So I love him. And recently I um, visited the National Gallery to see his exhibition that they've got on, which is called Love, Desire and Death. So today I'm gonna be diving into the catalogue and really rummaging around in all the detail. I mean, he's just fantastic, look at that. It's like Superman's cape as Perseus is diving down to fight off a sea beast. All of the paintings are inspired by poems from Ovid and they've all got a fairly violent and transformational theme about them. It might be abduction, it might be rape, it might be divine intervention, something, a transfiguration. They're alarming. But this is why I love Titian. He's a storyteller. If he was alive today, he'd be a phenomenal movie director. But you look at these paintings and the way he slows time down, he has alliterative, reflective effects. It's so fantastic and every new visit rewards and enriches. I can't delve deeply enough into his work.